BBC News at 10 presenter Hugh Edwards has been named as the man accused of allegedly paying a teenager more than £35,000 for sexually explicit pictures by his wife Vicky Flynn. Vicky named her husband as the man at the centre of the allegations in a statement issued on his behalf. The statement read, In light of the recent reporting regarding the BBC presenter I am making this statement on behalf of my husband Hugh Edwards, after what have been five extremely difficult days for our family. I am doing this primarily out of concern for his mental well-being and to protect our children. Hugh is suffering from serious mental health issues. As is well documented, he has been treated for severe depression in recent years. The events of the last few days have greatly worsened matters, he has suffered another serious episode and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he'll stay for the foreseeable future. Once well enough to do so, he intends to respond to the stories that have been published. To be clear Hugh was first told that there were allegations being made against him last Thursday. In the circumstances and given HW's condition I would like to ask that the privacy of my family and everyone else caught up in these upsetting events is respected. I know that Hugh is deeply sorry that so many colleagues have been impacted by the recent media speculation. We hope this statement will bring that to an end. The 61-year-old father of five was first the subject of a complaint in May. Alongside a statement confirming his suspension on Sunday, it was reported the BBC had been in touch with the police. On Wednesday, the Metropolitan Police confirmed detectives from the Met's Specialist Crime Command have now concluded their assessment and have determined there is no information to indicate that a criminal offence has been committed. A statement said, detectives from the Met's Specialist Crime Command have now concluded their assessment and have determined there is no information to indicate that a criminal offence has been committed. In reaching this decision, they have spoken to a number of parties including the BBC and the alleged complainant and the alleged complainant's family, both via another police force. There is no further police action. As such, the Met has advised the BBC it can continue with its internal investigation. We are aware of media reporting of further allegations against the same individual. No specific details or information about these allegations have been passed to us and therefore there is no police action at this time. Should evidence of criminality or safeguarding issues be identified at any point we would expect matters to be referred to the relevant police force. A BBC spokesperson said, We have seen the statement from the police confirming they have completed their assessment and are not taking further action. We're grateful to them for completing this work at speed. The police had previously asked us to pause our fact-finding investigations and we will now move forward with that work ensuring due process and a thorough assessment of the facts, whilst continuing to be mindful of our duty of care to all involved. Earlier this week, a picture appearing to show Edwards standing in a room half-naked has circulated around Twitter. Gary Lineker, Rylan Clark and Jeremy Vine all publicly denied being the previously unnamed BBC presenter on Saturday following reports first emerging on Friday. The Sun reported a then unidentified BBC presenter allegedly paid a teenager more than £35,000 for sexually explicit pictures. It was claimed an unnamed star at the national broadcaster has been accused of handing over cash sums in return for explicit images from a teenager when they were 17 years old. The mother of the alleged recipient claimed her child used the money to fund an addiction to crack cocaine and she blamed the presenter for destroying her child's life.
it is thought the woman's child is now 20 years old. In an additional report, the mother of the anonymous accuser alleged the still then unnamed BBC presenter stripped to his underwear during a video call with her then teenage child. I was shocked to see a picture of him sitting on a sofa in his house in his underwear, she told The Sun on Saturday night, before adding, I immediately recognized him, he was leaning forward getting ready for my child to perform for him. My child told me, I have shown things and this was a picture from some kind of video call. The mother says she initially raised concerns with the corporation in May after the BBC presenter sent £5,000 in one transaction for sexually explicit photographs of their child. However, just weeks later, the man was reportedly partying with fellow stars at a swanky event alongside the senior executives. Speaking to the Sunday Mirror, a guest said, if this man was aware of what was hanging over him, he certainly didn't show it. Edwards started his career at the BBC as a new trainee in 1984 and two years later he became the parliamentary correspondent for BBC Wales. He first presented the flagship 6 o'clock news in 1994 and in 2003 began hosting the 10 o'clock news. In 2011, Edwards was one of the main presenters at the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton and in 2014 he took over the BBC's election coverage when David Dimbleby stepped down. He was also the newsreader to announce the death of Queen Elizabeth last year and led the BBC's coverage of the official mourning period and her funeral. As well as being a Christian and attending church weekly, Edwards has also said he has suffered from bouts of depression since 2002. After reports of the allegations emerged, a number of BBC stars took to social media to deny being the mystery presenter amid online speculation about who it could be, with Nicky Campbell even contacting the police due to a troll accusing him of being the unnamed star. Rylan Clark, who is currently on the hiatus from his BBC Radio 2 show, told his one. 7 million Twitter followers on Saturday morning, not sure why my name's floating about but read that story in the sun, that ain't me babe. I'm currently filming a show in Italy for the BBC, so take my name out your mouths. Later the same day, Ryland's fellow Radio 2 presenter Jeremy Vine also took to Twitter to shut down any suggestion he was the unidentified person in The Sun's report to his 787. 8K followers, tweeting, Just to say I'm very much looking forward to hosting my radio show on Monday, whoever the BBC presenter in the news is, I have the same message for you as Ryland did earlier, it certainly ain't me. Match of the Day presenter Gary Lineker also put an end to any rumors linking his name to the story, telling his 8. 9 million followers on Twitter, hate to disappoint the haters but it's not me. Nicky Campbell appeared to suggest he had contacted police about being mentioned in connection with the story. The long-lost family presenter tweeted a screenshot which featured the Metropolitan Police logo and the words, Thank you for contacting the Metropolitan Police Service to report your crime. In his tweet, he wrote, I think it's important to take a stand. There's just too many of these people on social media. Thanks for your support friends. If you are struggling with mental health, you can speak to a trained advisor from Mind Mental Health Charity on 0300-123-3393 or email info at mind.org.uk.